Well, long before she was old enough to join social media, Natasha Bure was hosting her own pretend web series. Well, now she doesn't have to pretend anymore. She has hundreds of thousands of followers across Facebook and Instagram, and she's using those platforms to spread an encouraging message. Natasha Bure is a singer, actress, and social media personality. She also has a famous mom, actress Candace Cameron Bure. In 2016, Natasha auditioned on the popular show The Voice. Not yet 22, she's already had roles in three movies. Natasha Bure joins us now via Skype. Wow, Natasha, you've been a busy girl lately. I have. <laughs> Great to have you on the show. As we mentioned, everyone knows your mom and loves your mom, Candace Cameron, your father, former NHL player Valerie Bure. Tell us, what was it like growing up with this celebrity household? You know, I get that question a lot. And honestly, there's, it, it felt like growing up in a normal family. Um, I, I don't really know any different, so I can't compare. But I grew up just having two parents who treated me the same as every other parent. And, you know, they gave us rules and grounded us and um, all the normal things that parents do. So it wasn't too crazy. I think more as I'm an adult, I see it a little bit differently, but um, it was great. I love my parents and I have such a great relationship with them. Well, you've grown up in the age of social media. What was your family's stance towards you being online and how early did they let you go online? Yeah, so my parents were actually pretty strict about letting me online and having any sort of social media presence until I was about, I want to say I was 15 when I started. And now I feel like that's even still pretty young, but there's kids who are nine and 10 years old who are on social media. And I couldn't even imagine that because it's obviously such a big part of our world now, but just not having the maturity necessarily to understand the just the capacity of how large and how, you know, big and scary social media can sometimes be and the internet is. Um, so my parents were definitely very protective when I was younger about it. So what happened after you'd been on social media for a while? You say it happened and you started getting bombarded with pictures of airbrushed beauty, reality rather. What did that do to you? I mean, I feel like it's the same for every single person. We are constantly fed on a daily basis these images of what beauty is. And I don't really think that there's a beauty standard. We're all so different and we're unique and that's what makes us beautiful. And I think it's so important to embrace that. But a lot of times when you are fed these images, it can kind of get to your head and you feel like you're not good enough and you start comparing. And I always say comparison is the thief of joy and it's just, there's no fun in that. And so I have to be really conscious with my thoughts. I'm not saying that I'm perfect and that I don't ever compare myself because that would be a total lie. Mm -hmm. But I do try to be really conscious about my thoughts and make sure that they're positive and uplifting and that I'm feeding that same energy out to other people so they don't feel like they should ever compare their, themselves to me. And, and you have thousands of followers across social media. What is your message to them, your overall message? My overall message has always just been through all my platforms and my life in general, just to be the best version of you that you can be. God made us all so unique. And I think that's beautiful and that's awesome. And it would be such a waste to try to spend so much time being someone that you're not and not embracing all the qualities that were given to us that are different than the person next to you. And so I think if you wake up every day and you just strive to be the best person that you can be, um, that's just that's just the best thing that you can do for yourself. That's right, because God doesn't make mistakes. He made you with the the hair color he gave you and the, and the height you are and the skin color you are. So that's such a great message. Let's talk about your new movie now, Home Sweet Home, released earlier this year. In it, you play a young woman named Victoria. Tell us about this. Yeah, so I play. Oh, we're looking at the images of the clips right now. It looks like a fun movie. What is the message that you want people to take away after they watch this? I think it's really similar to the overall message that me, just as Natasha, loves to share, which again is just being the best version of you. But I think another big key message is that it's okay to just be open about whatever stage of life that you're in. And we don't always have to pretend like we're perfect and we have it all together because none of us do. And we're all learning and we're growing and every single day is a learning experience. And especially for Victoria, she's 
kind of just lost and she's finding her way. And instead of, um, you know, being honest about it, she, she kind of tries to weasel her way in situations. And obviously I don't want to like spoil the movie, but (laughs) you'll see, you'll see the outcome. But I think it's just a perfect message in real life just to really just be open about who you are and be okay with growing and be okay with learning. Natasha, we are out of time. The movie Home, thank you so much for being with us. The movie Home Sweet Home is available to buy or rent on many streaming platforms. It's approved for all ages. You can find out more information by going to encouragetv.com. God bless you, Natasha. Thanks.